Good morning from Tortola. We are so excited to be here. It is so beautiful. The water is amazing. The, the hills of the island, the buildings, the, the islands in the distance, everything looks so, so beautiful. And we can't wait to get our day started. We have a later excursion today. Lindsay and I are at 1215. Carrie and Alyssa is at 115, I think. <laughs> And we're hoping to enjoy a slightly empty ship this morning. We're going to go get some breakfast at Cabana's and then we're going to hit up the aqueduct for a few rides. Hopefully Carrie and I still have not done it. The girls have done it a number of times. So we can't wait to share some of our day with you guys today. This is Tortola. It is just so, so beautiful. Uh, but as you can see, the weather is a little bit cloudy. We're hoping it doesn't storm and rain today. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I think we'll be bringing in the GoPro on the island with us for our zipline excursion. It's so cool to see land after two days at sea, but this is amazing. So excited for the day. We're about to leave the cabin to go to Cabana's and the girls go out in the hall and start like, I hear noises. <laughs> and they come in and say, dad, we got stuff in our fish extender. And we got Olaf noses. We got pixie dusted. Pixie dusted. So they gave us Olaf noses, aka orange Tic Tacs. The girls got a. Oh, there goes mine. <laughs> the girls got a couple other special things. Uh, let me show you what they got. We were about to go to breakfast, and we went out the door, and I found some gifts. Olaf noses, or orange Tic Tacs, more commonly known as. <laughs> That's so cool. What'd you get, Lens? Um, I think all of us got the Olaf noses, and then me and Alyssa got some special things. I got. Um, a Mickey and Friends selfie ring light that's cool. shaped like Mickey, so that's pretty cool. And then I got some hair ties. Ooh, tangled hair ties. So that was, it looks like another fish extender gift that um, Room 9586 left for us. They left a little sticker so we knew it was from them. That was so sweet. This is awesome. sitting down at Cabana's breakfast. So on our way to Cabana's, we walked by the aqueduct, hoping to see when it was open. Found out it's not open until noon. A few sad faces. The girls have been on it a few times already. Carrie and I have not, so we're a little sad. We might get off at Tortola just to explore the port area for a little bit. But whatever we do, we're gonna have fun because we're in an amazing location on an amazing ship and I don't think anything we do can be a bad thing. So we scratched the idea of going on the aqueduct because it's not open till noon and it is about 10.50 right now. We're gonna get off the ship at Tortola, explore the port area a little bit. So here we go. We have about 45 minutes to explore just the shopping area around the port. We already took our picture in front of the British Virgin Island sign, the famous scene in the background. <laughs> Lindsay, what are you doing? You're just standing there kind of awkwardly. What are you trying to not have me see? You're stretching, huh? Oh, what's that behind your elbow? It's a mug. It's a whole thing of mugs. Wow. Thanks for helping me find them, Lindsay. What happens if you knock over all the stuff? Lindsay does not want me to buy a mug on this trip. You have too many. There's no such thing as too many mugs, Lindsay. Thankfully for Lindsay, there's nothing here that's speaking to me. <laughs> you might get some of these for a giveaway. It's pretty cool. They don't have any cards on the ship. You might be getting that. Alyssa was looking at a few of these as a necklace. That might be kind of fun for her. She loves jewelry. Do you think one of these is coming home with us? Carrie loves getting vanilla from different areas. So we got just a little bit of shopping done. Very important. We got some iced coffee. We got an iced coconut mocha. Super good. We got it at Beans Coffee right here in the port area in Tortola. Really cool thing is you get free Wi-Fi. You spend over five dollars. So that's awesome. Right now we're gonna head back on the ship and get ready for our excursion. And Carrie and Alyssa just saw coconut drink, which she's always wanted to get. We're gonna take a quick picture in front of the fancy, head back to the ship and get ready for our excursion. So we're about to go into D-Lounge 
for the excursion that Lindsay and I are going on. Carrie and Alyssa are gonna join us in about five minutes to see if they can squeeze in or if there's a no-show, if they can come with us. Uh, that way we can all four go together. We'll see, and if we can't make it happen, they'll have fun together and we'll have fun together. Looking forward to some zip lines. I'm super excited. We talked to someone this morning at breakfast about their experience on the zip lines and they had a blast. And they said a big part of the fun is the ride to the zip line location in your open air vehicle. <laughs> Looking forward to that. So unfortunately, Carrie and Alyssa couldn't join us. There wasn't enough space. So they're gonna go at 115. Got our waters. Oh yeah, stay hydrated. It's really hot today out there. I think the longest zip line I've ever done has been like 10, 15 seconds. The first time Karen and I went zip lining was in Cabo and we had one there called the Superman. It's a full body harness. You lay down, I think it was about three quarters of a mile. It was pretty intense. It was so fun. I don't think they did anything like that today. So we're about ready to go. We're about to get off the ship and I feel like we've done this before. I know. Apparently not everyone thinks I'm funny. We're so close to the edge. We could easily just fall down and plummet to our death. You can see the fantasy in the distance. Whoa! Lindsay's getting a little freaked out here. <laughs> We've heard part of the fun of the zip line tour is the drive up and the drive back. That was a fun ride up, huh? A little sketchy in a few spots, but it wasn't too bad. Carrie and Alyssa will be doing this about an hour after us. So looking forward to just having some fun on the zip line, overlooking the island, overlooking the fantasy. So excited to do this. You ready? You a little nervous? You get some amazing. Alyssa, quick, quick oh boy. <laughs> so Alyssa and I could not get on the same excursion as Chris and Lindsay, but we are going now. And while we were waiting, we were able to go on the aqueduct one time. It's kind of a long wait, even though it was um, a port day. It's still like at least a 20 minute wait. Yeah. And we got some soft serve and now we are ready to go. Yes, we are. Looking good, Lens. You got this, Lens. Have fun. <laughs> Awesome. There you go, there you go. Thanks. It's fun. I'm still shaking. I probably have cat hair. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yep. My hair's a little jacked up too. <laughs> that was so much fun. Can't wait for Carrie and Alyssa to do this. It looks like they're here and getting set up. So Carrie and Alyssa just got here. They're about to leave for their group. Have fun, guys. Bye. Bye. And Lindsay and I are about to head back to the ship in just a few minutes. We're just enjoying some time, hanging out on the deck here, taking some really just beautiful pictures. Uh, with the fantasy in the background. This is an amazing port adventure. If you can swing this, it's super worth it. Just a beautiful spot to do zip lining, super memorable. Lindsay really loved it. Our girls are 12 and 14. Uh, I think Alyssa's gonna love this too. I'm looking forward to hearing more from about Carrie's and Alyssa's experience. Such a beautiful day. And actually it's a little nicer weather-wise up here since we're up higher, but we have just a beautiful view of the port and the fantasy. We're just enjoying the time we have here until we head back to the ship. And they also have a little store in here after you're done with your uh, zip line adventure. Sure. You can get some refreshments, some cold drinks, a shirt, a magnet. I am eyeing this mug. I think I might get that. Bye. All right, Alyssa, tell us what you thought of zip lining in Tortola. It was pretty awesome. Really good views. It wasn't that scary at all. It wasn't too fast, but it was really fun. What did you like the most about it? Probably the 
the view. There's this one part where you have to climb a ladder to get up to one space. I like that part. That one was a little scary for me to jump off because it's a really long one. I pushed off. Good job. Thank you. We got a few more things from uh, one of the rum shops. I got some rum cakes, another hot sauce thing I think Alyssa will like, and some other stuff for the giveaway. He said we'd go straight back to the ship and it's been like- Yeah, I know, I get distracted easily. But before we get back on the ship, Lindsay and I were talking about something. I gave the GoPro to Carrie because they were about to go on all the zip lines and I thought it'd be fun to get their perspective of the zip lines as well. Here's the thing, Carrie's a little hesitant to take it. Lindsay thinks that she's gonna drop it. That she's gonna drop it, that we're gonna lose it. I trust Carrie. I think she's gonna keep it. So what's the bet for? I bet that she's gonna lose it and that she's gonna come back without it. So if- She'd probably, she'd for sure feel bad if that happened. Yeah. If I'm right, dad uh, owes me a chai. Yep. A chai off She loves and, chais. And if he's right, if she does come back with it, then I owe him like a dare to do something in front of either a crew member or the camera. And that you get to put it in the video. And I get to choose the dare. You sure you want to do this? Sure. I kind of trust you. Oh, thanks, Lynn. That's sweet. So we're getting back on the ship. Hopefully we'll hear all about Carrie and Alyssa's experience on the zip lines. Hopefully they have a great time. We'll try to show you a little bit of their experience as long as Carrie holds on to the GoPro. Thank you. It's like a nice hotel or something. That's awesome. Yeah, right before you get back on the ship, they give you a nice cold, wet towel to cool yourself down with. Also, orange cucumber and regular water that they give you before you get back on the ship. The best feeling of getting back on the ship, the blast of air conditioning that hits you in the face once you're getting up the ramp. All right, what you got there, Alyssa? So we just got done with the zip lining thing um, and I got some coconut water. This is the only non-alcoholic thing they had. How's it taste? Oh, it tastes pretty good. Is it cold or warm? Room temperature. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather it cold. It's still pretty good. You're just basically drinking the coconut water that comes in that coconut, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're gonna get back on the ship and we'll go see if we can find Lindsay and Chris. Lindsay and I have been in the room hanging out, getting cleaned up after a really fun port adventure on the zip lines. Carrie just said that her and Alyssa got back on the ship. They're getting pizza. We ordered room service. Let me show you what we got. We got a New York steak panini with some chips and coleslaw. Does that look good? Mm-hmm. Got a Mickey bar, key lime pie, and cake of the day, which is chocolate mousse. Since we didn't even get lunch, we're really hungry. If you haven't told you yet, we really like dessert. <laughs> Lindsay and I are gonna split the sandwich, split the desserts. I'm gonna see if Carrie can pick us up, at least pick me up another slice of pizza as well, because half a steak sandwich may not be enough. This looks so good. Can I try it? Ooh, that does look good, yeah. Really good. A lot of flavor from the caramelized onions, because I think there's Ooh, some of that. Ooh, that does look really good. The texture is really nice. I really like the bread. It's amazing. For room service? That sounds awesome. It's really good. It's Pirate Day, so of course we're watching Pirates of the Caribbean to get all hyped up for Pirate Night tonight. That food was great. Lindsay and I loved the steak sandwich that you get for room service. Obviously, we enjoyed the desserts. Lindsay actually liked the steak sandwich more than the desserts. Carrie and Alyssa just got back. They got some pizza and some soft serve up on the top deck before they came back in the room. We want to share a little bit of our experience with you guys and what we thought about the zip line port adventure. We got done with the zip lining adventure. I, I really liked it. it. It was really fun. It wasn't that scary. The scariest part was probably the bus ride up because it was very bumpy, but they kind of give you a tour. So that's nice. It was really fun. Really pretty views. I would say it's it's not a scary zip line. I mean, I guess if you're afraid of heights, it would be scary. It's not super fast. The views are really beautiful and yeah. the people are really nice and it was really fun. Yeah, we met a lot of really nice people in our group, but it was fun to see you guys start yeah. your adventure when we were wrapping ours up. So glad we did it. And it was kind of fun, even though we would have preferred to be all together, be in two groups and have a little separate time together with our girls. I, th I think that was kind of fun for Lindsay and I at least. Got our AirPods in. She's oblivious to all of us. <laughs> Did you guys have fun just being together? Uh, yeah. Good answer. No, no, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Lindsay realizes there are other people who have balconies. <laughs> <laughs> Karen and I are out here just enjoying Tortola from our balcony. Uh, we've been hanging out in our stateroom for the last, what, couple hours? Just relaxing, enjoying some good food and watching movies. The ship just blew its horns. We're about to leave port 
and the sun is peeking through the clouds right behind us. You can see it right there. It is just beautiful. Just love looking at the port from a balcony. It's so fun and so relaxing and just quiet and calming. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Something um, that Carrie and I were talking about just a moment ago, um, we uh, noticed that from the port, from the ship, it just looks so beautiful. All the buildings and the houses on the side of the, uh, the hillside it just looks so beautiful. As you get closer up though, there's something about this community that just to me stands out that there's a lot of pride in these people in a good way. They love their community, um, and I think they're trying to bring a bunch of tourism back here. Um, my heart goes out to them, though, because there is obviously a lot of storm damage from previous storms that they're still recovering from. I think their, they said their high school was um, still in repair uh, from the last big uh, hurricane or storm that came through here. Um, it just goes to show me, like, as you from afar, from a distance, it looks really nice, but as you get closer up and meet the people and see things from a different perspective, um, it gives you a new respect for the places that you go, places we visit, and the people there. Something to keep in mind if you come here um, or go or wherever you go and visit on a cruise or anywhere, these places don't exist for us. It's great, the, the service and the attention we got from our driver, from the guides on the zipline course was outstanding. They did such a great job. And if you can afford it, bring some extra money um, because they have an opportunity to, uh, to leave extra tips. If you want, Alyssa ran over earlier in the day when we first got into port, there was a band playing uh, music and she ran over, I think, and put some money in the, the jar there. But anything you can do to support the local, commu local community and especially shop. Um, bring your money and, and shop. Get things that, that are meaningful to you. But I think that's just such a great way you can support communities that you visit is yes, enjoy the port adventures. Yes, enjoy the local area. Um, but if you can spend your money on things that, that are valuable and worthwhile to you. Um, just something that, that occurred to us when we were coming here. Hope that help perspective helps you guys a little bit if you visit places like this. We're heading back out to sea to go to St. Thomas tomorrow. are at Vista Cafe and just notice they have these little yummy snacks like brie and olives and some yummy goodies. So Carrie and I are, we just looked at the Vista Cafe. I don't know why we didn't get those olives and, and I, cheeses. We, we should have just gotten that. That would have been a yummy snack well, to sit on the deck with. I don't want that. Let's go get that. Well, let's go down here first. Okay. Well, we're on the hunt for some beer because it's party night. We want to sit on our deck, enjoy a little beer as we sail away from Tortola. I wanted to walk down the sweeping staircase in the atrium because my lady is a princess. <laughs> She's befitting a royal entrance such as that. They had it roped off though, so oh well. Since we've been on Disney Cruise Line, it's a little loud, but we're just having fun with it. Away, away, away we go! Come ye daring young buccaneers, come and capture your treasure! Away, 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 go! So pirate deck show was a lot of fun, definitely for the younger kids. Uh, but our kids just kind of had fun watching. We'd never seen it before, so it was kind of fun to see it. I got myself another banana soft serve because every day they have it, I'm getting it at least once. And then I'm on my way right now, get laundry that's hopefully dry, throw that back in the room, last little laundry we have to do on the ship, and then off to dinner at Animators for pirate dinner. Never done pirate dinner before on our first cruise, even though we didn't have a pirate night because they hadn't brought that back yet. We did uh, some kind of a, it was a, one of the menus from the Panama Canal cruise. It was like a world menu. So it was really good, but never had pirate menu tonight. So we're gonna enjoy that in just a few minutes. There's a, there's a shark here. 
Whoa. Okay then. I'm headed to Animator's Palette to meet up with the family, and apparently this is called the Mile of Tile as we head to Animator's Palette. I wonder why they call it that. Honestly, I can't think of a better restaurant to do pirate night in. There's all these screens around with like artwork of pirates from the movies, from the rides, Pirates of the Caribbean, that's what's going on right now. Everyone always says that they don't like the pirate night menu, so I, I was not looking forward to it really, but I thought a lot of the food looked really good. So I love samosas and chilled mango soup sounds pretty interesting. I got three appetizers because they all sounded really good. I guess we'll have to wait and see what it actually tastes like. Yeah. It does look good just by the menu. There's several things that look really good. So I'm excited to give it a try. Maybe uh, we are continuing the tradition of too many soft serves on Pirate Night. No, I haven't had a single one today. You've only had two the whole cruise and we're on day four. I've learned my lesson. You need to have more soft serve. What do we got, Alyssa? My marinated shrimp. And you know whose it is? Angelica's. Angelica. Angelica. No, 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 no. Angelica from Pirates of the Caribbean movies. No, no, I think, yep. they're, I think they're talking about Angelica you know Skyler. I don't think so. You know, Hamilton's sister's wife. I mean, no, Hamilton's wife's sister. Yeah, you know it really well, don't you? It's a shrimp. Does it taste like lime? Not really. Is it good, though? The samosa was delicious. Fantastic flavor inside and it had the yummy sauces on the outside that you usually dip samosas in. It was fantastic. Really hot and crispy and good texture and really, really yummy filling. I could eat like crab this, but I won't. I squeezed some of the lemon on the crab cake. Um, it had a lot more flavor, but I haven't tried it with the sauce yet. And it was really good without the sauce, but now I'm gonna try it with it. Doesn't make it better, but it didn't make it worse. Do you like the crab cake though? Yeah, it's good. I had the crab cake and the samosa as well. And the shrimp. The shrimp were good. The crab cake was really good. I like the remoulade. Just a touch spicy, but pretty good flavor. The samosa though, definitely the best appetizer. On the menu, I think it's got some definite spice to it, but it's really, really good. Ooh, that's good. It's like melted mango. This is just chilled mango soup. It kind of tastes like melted sorbet, but creamy. Yeah. I liked it a lot. It was really refreshing. It's a nice, maybe, palate cleanser in between courses. Sounds very fancy of you to say that. I used to work in restaurants, you know. Since I ordered three appetizers, I decided to get something from the lighter menu because it looked really good. Braised barbecue beef rib salad. And it looks really tasty. Mm. It has macadamia nuts, some different lettuces, carrots, roasted corn, shallots, and a tomato sour cream dressing. It's really tasty. I think we found Lindsay's kryptonite. Stop making a mess in a nice restaurant on purpose. Apparently Lindsay can't handle when the outside of a bowl or plate is getting really messy. You know what? I can't handle it either. Cut it out. I got Cortez's cilantro marinated Caribbean grouper filet. It's really good. I wanted something a little bit lighter tonight as well. So I went with fish. It's cooked really, really well. It's got curried rice. I think mango, cilantro, black bean, and red onion like salsa on it. It's really good. The, the flavors aren't super strong. That's kind of what I was wanting. I wasn't some, wanting some super rich and heavy. If you want something lighter, Carrie's salad sounds like a really good option. And I think this one does too. Tonight's desserts were amazing. And we all kind of like different ones the best. My favorite was the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart. Oh my gosh. That is probably my favorite dessert we've had the whole time we've been on the ship. It is so good. It's gooey caramel, yummy cheesecake, good crust. And then there's this little bit of bread with it too oh my gosh so good and then also the bananas in paradise which is a layered banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling served with banana spice puree oh my gosh that was also almost just as delicious so so yummy and then the other ones were pretty good but not my favorites Alyssa, what was your favorite dessert that's hard the banana bread also surprisingly i did kind of like the rope one yeah that's pretty good soaked chocolate cake that was actually pretty good i am not really sure what i like best because i like different things about all the desserts but i dislike things about all the desserts at the same time because the cobbler with the ice cream is really good but i found some of the like peach pieces that were like it seemed like they were frozen solid i couldn't bite into them they're like super hard and i couldn't eat them besides that if it was like a chewy piece of peach and blueberry and ice cream it was really good 
And then the cheesecake, I usually hate cheesecake, but I love the caramel on top of it and the crust is really good. So I tried to get like the caramel and the crust with us to cheesecake. So yeah, I agree with Carrie. The desserts uh, for Pirate Menu, really good. The, we did get every one of them because that's what we do. We even got the, the no sugar added one and that was kind of bland. My favorite was the Pirate's Treasure Sundae. It's a rum raisin ice cream with like pineapple and I think some caramel in there and it's with obviously raisins. And I, I don't love raisins, but I do really like rum raisin ice cream. That caramel cheesecake was probably the best, but I really like this Sunday. I'm not a big Sunday fan, but this one was a good one. And this is what we think of the no sugar added dessert. We're off to see the fireworks. <laughs> Woo. That was a good meal. So like Alyssa said, we are off to watch fireworks. We've never seen the pirate fireworks show before on the Disney Cruise. So Pirates in the Caribbean deck show just ended. I think our voices are shot. <laughs> Alyssa was dancing like a maniac on the deck. And Lindsay and a lot of the students from Vibe like broke out in a flash mob on the deck right after the fireworks. It was super, super fun to see her with some of our other friends from Vibe. And it was just, such a fun night. Alyssa just kept dancing after Lindsay and some of the other kids from Vibe left. Just having a blast. Dancing, singing away. Well, she didn't know the songs, but she had fun. <laughs> Was that fun, Alyssa? Yeah, tiring, but fun. Good way to get the energy out. Let me, yeah. Let me show the thing we're doing for our breakfast in the morning. Oh, and we have a towel. Oh, we got a towel animal. I think this is either an octopus or Davy Jones or something like that. It looks like we've got some chocolate coins. We're getting up early because of our port adventure in um, St. Thomas and Cabanas doesn't actually open until 7.30 and I think we have to be where we're going at 7.45. So they have this option, they have this every day, we have never done it before, where you can um, say what you want and it will be delivered to your door at whatever time. We said between 6.30 and 7. And so we're getting a bunch of Danish things and bagels and croissants and mostly carbohydrates and some fruit and things like that and we just have to stick it on the door before 3 a.m. and they will bring it to our room in the morning, including coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun doing the flash mob? Yeah, it was really fun. It, wasn't cool. it, it was, was fun so watching you guys. Fun watch. I'm so glad we were able to watch it. Since we're all back in our cabin and we're about to go to bed, I think we should all share what our favorite part of the day has been because we've been wanting to do that, but we never end up all coming back at the same time. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, what was your favorite thing today? Hmm, that's hard. Maybe the dancing. That was fun. Good. Mine was probably doing a flash mob because we were all like really nervous because I've only rehearsed it twice. Me and my friends had a lot of fun doing it and then we like stayed at the dance party afterwards. It was a really, really fun day. So I feel like I should say zip line because that was really fun. <laughs> yeah. But I honestly think that even though I wasn't actually dancing, I mean, I was kind of dancing, you know, in my little spot, but just yeah. watching everyone dance and the fireworks and all that was so fun. Wait, that the zip line was today? Yeah. yeah. Today. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Dinner. What's happened today? Oh, also what's happened today? I also like the zip line and then I just relaxed in the stateroom and then me and dad got room service. So that was really fun too. That was a good day. Yeah. What about you? What was your... What? I'm talking to Chris, not the camera. He's behind it. Favorite part of the day. Man, it was really... That's a, honestly a tough one. Zip line was so fun. It's impossible to pick one. I would say it's a combination of zip line, relaxing in the stateroom after the zip line. Uh, Lindsay and I came back, got room service, like she said, then you guys joined us and we all just kind of relaxed for like a few hours in the stateroom. And you and I hung out on the balcony, Lindsay joined us, and it was just beautiful. Watching the sunset, the fireworks was fun, but seeing everyone just dancing and having such a fun time after the fireworks, and obviously watching Lindsay and her friends from Vibe do the flash mob and seeing Alyssa down there going crazy with them and dancing and having a lot of fun. It was all such a great day. 
It yeah. was so fun. Like we said, today was really fun. Um, if you guys want to see more of the type of fun stuff that we do, um, subscribe so you can get notified whenever we post more videos. Mm -hmm. uh, and like the video if you liked it. And yeah, have a great week. Thanks. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.